That is interesting. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. My name is Sick. Welcome back to State of the K2. We are playing on Dread difficulty on a map that I had never played before. And lately we've been doing quite well for ourselves. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, go in here really quick. I cl um, cleared out a new part of the map. We had a play card over here, which I killed, which was absolutely great. There's a few others. This one has gone active, so we might want to clear that one next. We have a level 3 infestation over here. Uh, we also still have enemies over here that we might want to deal with. And this might actually be something uh, that we could do this episode. If we kill them, they might have some interesting new weapons. So... Let's see, we have some decent weapons here already. Uh, not too much ammo though. And I would definitely want to take an ally with me. Because going by ourselves is the fastest way to die, I would say. Uh, do we have any... Oh, nice. Surgery has increased on our character. Now we are, we are actually a bit injured. Maybe we should take a different character here. Let us have a look at the community. Like, yeah... Derek and Justice both have gotten extremely damaged on our latest mission. Wait, William actually has completely recovered, so we would definitely want to take control of him. Uh, That's a screamer. This could get noisy. I don't see the screamer. Ah, straight ahead. Somewhere. Ah, oh, there he is. Way off in the distance. Well, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, we are going to have to take someone new along. Now we have two people with assault rifles up here on the roof, which is absolutely great. We've got a signal antenna up and running, which is even better because now we can get another outpost. Uh, what do we need? We're doing. We're actually gaining quite a bit of, well, not quite a bit, but 0.25 a day, which means that, uh, yeah, we could t technically go for another person. And we would only lose very little food over time. We are losing one meds per day, one ammo per day. We have tons of that. One materials per day and not... Well, we're not losing anything else. So maybe we go for something special like power for the base. Because we do need power to, uh, to run some of these or upgrade these. So where can we get power? The Dirty Bird Espresso, definitely not the thing. The thing. Uh, shipping waste station. I don't think we have seen a place we could get power. There's a cell tower, a signal booster, gain or improve computers, extended scouting range, clean sight lines and so on, but it's not really what we want. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've seen a building yet where we can get power. So that would be something to search for, definitely. We do another Dirty Bird Espresso that really doesn't help us all that much. This is a modern factory. Um, this thing is still sleeping. We also don't have one here though, I think. So definitely we would have to search for another uh, area. We could also still want to expand if we can get another person. Uh, we would have a machine shop, four parking spots, huge fuel storage, backup generator, and quite a few outdoor slots. There's another one that might be interesting as well. But for this, well, we could move to here, but we would have to clear out a play card. Uh, this will be more interesting, probably. Church on the hill, bell tower, not sure what that gives us, parking, pews. Several large outdoor slots, so we could move to that one now, except for the Fratna. But that's not really an upgrade, it's more of a side grade. Uh, eight people for the container fort. Would be lovely, but like this would be more interesting. One large outdoor slot, two small outdoor slots, but we have a secret distillery, two sheltered beds, elaborate storage, free parking, a watchtower, and two abandoned lockers so we could clear out and turn into something else. Now that would be interesting indeed. Oh, and I forgot that we have uh, this area over here that we could use or uh, could go power substation. There we go. Claiming this requires 2000. It has a daily fuel cost, high traffic, gain or improve utilities. 
uh, familiar. Alright, so we could go and help these people out. And then we would have to kill this Plague Heart. And then we could claim this base if we take another person. But first, actually, let us deal with this. I'm going to pick someone to go help me out and we'll drive over there and we'll try to get rid of these people. Oh, I just realized that Connie over here can specialize into something new. Her farming or gardening can specialize into agriculture or herbalism. Unlock top end garden and farm upgrades for food production. I think we're going to go with that one. So, agriculture then. Uh, she's fully healed as well. Weber is fully healed. He has sharpshooting. He's going to um, stay up here to guard the base. I think we're going to go ahead and take Connie here. Need some help. And then we need to pick some nice guns. I'll do that really quick by myself. Alright, I just found a survivor in trouble. We're going to go ahead and try to help them out because maybe we will have a useful person that we could recruit. Uh, Weber's not doing a particularly great job of sniping off this horde, but we can ignore them for now, I think. Or I guess we just triggered them, but I don't really care too much about that. Because we're faster than them and they're going to lose interest pretty quick. Are out and about. Crap, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, there's a lot of fighting going on in this building. I didn't particularly want to go here and waste ammo on this, but maybe we can do this by uh, fighting, hey. or maybe not. Alright, that is sufficiently cleared out. Alright, you're a total lifesaver. Can we offer you something in return? Ooh, um, meds maybe. That would be nice. Because we're doing good on food. We're losing meds and I don't think there's too many places left that we could get more medicine from. Alright, interesting that you just ignore these uh, other people. <laughs> but hey, we got some meds. So that is perfect. Definitely very useful. Sadly, no one that we can recruit. Nice. <laughs> We'll uh, dump this into the back of the car. And then we'll continue on our way. That of course gave us some influence as well. We'll continue on our way to clear out the enemy. All right, now we're not going to knock or announce ourselves in any way. There we go. I'm going to swip to an MP5. We're going to try to get the drop on these people. Oh. And I'm going to switch this to single shot. Oh, come on. Alright, I tried to grab onto it, but... Yeah, this is the problem with this particular building. There's no windows into it, right? So... That is really quite unfortunate. We can't well, really snipe anyone. Maybe we should switch this back to, yeah, to something else. Maybe we can snipe them a bit from up the hill here. Crap. Can we peek through the window? That doesn't really help. That is on fire, I think. Let's see. Ooh. Alright, that feels a bit like cheating, but hi. Alright, he's going to come out. Oh, come on. Really? We're going to do it like that? There we go. Uh-oh, he's turning. Nice. Alright. That is good. We can search this place for food and other things, other useful things. We might find some fuel, we might find some building materials. Those are also very welcome. 
Uh, I will not complain about finding uh, any loose parts either. Those always come in handy. But let's see what these survivors actually carry. Look at that, a shotgun. Sort of shotgun, some medicine. A uh, small backpack, we have enough of those, but I might as well grab it, I guess. We'll leave the combat knife, and I will continue searching the rest of the house before uh, searching the body, I guess. And there might be another body outside as well from before. All right, we have some materials. Let's search the body. Let's just do this in order, I guess. We could drive the, the vehicle a little bit closer. A pack of nutritious snacks. We have a 10 to the 22 carbine. Bag of snacks. We'll leave the backpack because now I do really think we have enough. More parts. All right, so we'll uh, dump these into the vehicle, and then we'll see where to go for where to go to next. Oh crap! Oh come on! Stop moving your head so much. There we go. Jesus. All right. Well. It occurred to me that we had not actually scouted from this tower, so that was what I was going to do next. But, yeah. <laughs> then that thing interrupted me, or rather it spotted me from a distance and then it just came running over like crazy. Which I was not too happy about. Ooh, bladed melee weapon, that was pretty nice. Pretty decent, I'll uh, go ahead and take that with me, I guess. We'll search this one and then I'll climb to the top. And also, I'm very curious what else we can upgrade at the moment in our house. Because we found... A, ooh, a box mine. Nice. Uh, we upgraded a few things. The farm slot, for example. We could upgrade this if we had a trader leader. Um, and a lot of materials, actually. Uh, the infirmary could be upgraded uh, to craft first aid kits. Also adds another treatment bed. 13 uh, materials is quite a lot, however. So maybe also we don't really want to do that. A knowledge of mechanics and scraps of circuitry. Apparently we don't have that yet. Storage. Upgraded storage. Uh, I don't think that is currently necessary. We have a total of 25. Maximum of 25. We could have more ammo even. So that's a bit of a wasted uh, thing. We don't need any extra beds at the moment. So yeah, not much we can do here at the moment actually. Until we move to a different outpost I suppose. So we'll just leave it as is. We'll climb to the top and have a look around. Alright, let's have a look. Ooh! Power substation very close to home. Uh, fuel depot. Some shacks. Most of this here we will have seen, but there's going to be a few things out in the back that we haven't. Okay, nothing more to see here. Alright, so how much did this cost to take? We had a power substation. 2,000 influence. That is a ton. And uh, we don't have it right now. Um, and we could claim a different base if we had another person. So we might actually want to go ahead and recruit from one of these people. Now the newcomers don't really provide much of a benefit. Or, yeah, they don't really have great people, but they give us extra influence a day, which is nice. Um... Recruiting requires zero influence, and they give us roadside assistance, a radio command. Oh, yeah, that is a thing that we can do. Let's see. Roadside assistance. This is generic, I think. Vehicle delivery, rooftop recon, we can do that. And recruit a legacy survivor is another thing we could do, but that costs a ton of influence, which we don't have. Vehicle delivery, supply drops, infestations, multiplayer, and so on. I don't want to do any of that. But this kind of feels like cheating. You know, it costs influence, and it's uh, it's not something you have a ton of. But yeah, I just I would rather scavenge for it. All right, so let us see which of these people we would like to recruit from the local talents, because I don't think we particularly need them. Now we could also. Uh, we cannot recruit from them yet, but we could go... Yeah, but they're great at cars. We already have a mechanic. This guy's good at munitions, metalwork, surgery, chemistry. 
uh, maybe a mechanic would not be the worst thing. So we should go over there and try to help them out, I guess. But first we will drop all of these materials in our base. Oh yeah, good time. Ah, new mission. Right behind you. Wow. Oh, that's right here. All right. Uh, yeah. Bunch of zombies here. That sucks. And if she can distract them, that would be super nice. All right. Let's see if she can help me out with that. Nice. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. But while we're here, we might as well interact with these people. These are new. They might be temporary people. Let's talk to her. What the hell do you want? You look like you could use a hand. Cut me in and I'll help you loot to the next place. Looks heavy, but I'd be happy to lighten your load. Hand it over. Committed survivors will become hostile. Now we'll help them out. I can return the favor someday. Even though she was pretty hostile, but hey. Well, uh, can't help or can't blame people for being defensive, right? In a world like this where everything is fucked up. She looks like a military survivor. She might make for a good recruit if we can actually manage to recruit some people here. Oh, should have uh, started that a little bit sooner, I guess. Why are you constantly running? Oh, we have a horde. I'm not too big of a fan of that. But hey, four people should be able to manage uh, a little something. Let's try to take this out. There we go. And they shoot as well, which is nice. Now we... Oh, the box bomb. We should not use the box bomb. I should have taken the bandage from the car. I'm a little bit injured. This guy doesn't have a particular particular uh, large pool of health. I definitely take out the streamer first. Oh, no, let's not hit my teammate here. A little bit of extra fighting. Fighting skill, that is. We've got a bit of a Zed issue that would benefit from your attention. Yeah, we need to. Alright, we'll definitely level up our fighting skill here, I would think. These two are going to uh, defend or uh, search the place. We need to defend. Oh, come on. I think we would benefit from being inside the building, actually, because then they, these guys are going to help shoot. Oh, but that's, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's try to go inside right now, actually. We have two minutes to go. We could search here ourselves as well, but I don't think that is going to be particularly great since our car is full and we need the the stamina. Come on, don't go outside. Stay here. All right. All right. So far, so good. Not too much coming in. Ooh. Needed to dodge that one. Did it just in time. That's nice. All right. She kills them before I can uh, try to hold on to them. Alright, come on. Ooh, that's good. Three hits, three kills. She's also going to level up her skill quite significantly, I would think. All right, two zombies coming in. She'll take care of that one. 
Two banshee nets herself get hit first. I'll take care of you. Ooh. There we go. Nice. 30 more seconds and so far the stream of zombies seems manageable though now she is um, definitely getting into a little bit more trouble. She's drawing in too many zombies which is annoying. Alright, reload. They're gone, I'll hold them off. There we go. That takes up a lot of stamina, but I, I'm not complaining. There we go. Make sure at least one of the looters survives. Clear out the remaining zombies at the store. Oh, alright, so we have some zombies that managed to get past the... There we go. Alright. Nice doing business with you. And that gives us some landscaping supplies. And 200 influence, that actually takes us to 2000, I think, 2100. So we could get power, but do we really need that at the moment? Like, do we really need to spend that much influence or we could, we're, would we be better off getting a new base? I think a new base would be better. But do these people stick around now? No. Alright, so let me just walk over to my car and drive back to base, hopefully this time without any interruptions. Alright, well following them back to my car, it actually turns out that they have stuck around, they're still in this building. So, talking to them, uh, they have become an enclave, I guess? Well, not on the map they're not, so that is really weird, but we could trade with them and we could recruit one of these to our community, but it costs 1500. Which is kind of crazy, because when you learn about these survivors, you don't see the traits, they're an outsider, they have no wits, no cardio, no fighting, no shooting, they're blank. They don't have a particular, uh, particularly high amount of health. Um, and my Rasol over here isn't any better, so it would actually be cheaper to uh, call in an experienced survivor from an earlier gameplay session. Right, yeah, so this is definitely nice. We're driving this back to base. Anybody want to swing by and oh, help me out here? Come on, really? Where is this? Mysterious broadcast. Alright, um Ooh, the rocket jumpers. Hostile. We have a hostile group and oh he probably wants my help to take them out. Um just looking at the map, you know, like that, uh, I think that w that is the case. I think that is what they want us to do. Uh, I am capable of taking out another group, I think. But am I willing? We might actually be able to recruit that person to the base and he might have some special skills. So that might be worthwhile. Oh crap, missed it. Didn't really aim for it, I saw it too late, but yeah, it would have been nice to uh, have taken one out, I guess. Alright, so trunk, let's deposit this to the base. Same with that, same with that, same with that. Out of material, oh, too, ma too many materials. We'll do this, we'll put that there, we'll put this here, that, that. And... I guess we'll keep this for now. Hmm? How's Connie doing? I can't see it here. Connie is severely injured. Uh, that's not great. We'll have to dismiss you. We'll heal up this character to full health. And then we need to pick out a new one. And then I think we're going to go ahead and help out that other person. Okay, I'll be there shortly. Oh, we have an infesting horde coming in. Uh, we have a bloater down here somewhere. Um, I was going to go my way. I switched to Derek. Uh, I'm taking my other guy, which I was playing just before, because I would like to have another automatic weapon with me. But right now, I think I'll tell you. dealing with this horde 
is more important. I don't know where they're going to infest, but they're somewhere close. I think we just lost some materials. That is what she was... Yeah, okay, because I had too many, now we lost three. So we won't lose any more. Um, oh, that is nice. Now that we have a sniper up on the up on the tower. Look at that. Missing quite a few shots, but hi. Can you take it out for me? Not quite. Not quite. Alright. There we go. Why am I missing so many shots? See if we can take this out. Nice. No damage. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we can let the tower guys take care of this one. Another pistol. Nice. Very nice. And then there's another screamer back there that we also might as well try to take out. Even though the tower person sees them, or sees it, I should say. And down it goes. Perfect. Alright, now then, without any further distractions, let's take this car instead. Let's go over to Drew and see what he has to say. And hopefully it is someone that we can recruit or wants to actively join our base, because that will be perfect. So we need a sixth person, and then we can expand to a new base. <laughs> That was an interesting one. Alright. Um, we need to be aware of the hostiles on our left. Can we drive this thing up here? Yes, we can indeed. Perfect. Where is that coming? Yeah, there it is. Come on, drop down. Nice. All right, let's see what Drew has to say. Hey there. Drew looks like he has a cool mask on. Ah, yes indeed. The crazy ex-Red Talon guy just swooped in and took over my old team. They're all nuts now. Please help me take them out without hurting my friends. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, stay here and I'll take care of it. Uh, why sure is he getting to stay here? Optional, keep Bye. Drew's friends, uh, Jimmy and Sarah, alive. Go to the abandoned campsite and kill the man in the Red Talon mask. Alright. Well, this is going to be an assassination mission. That is pretty cool. I didn't know those existed. Oh, we should switch over to this guy, I guess. What's because happening? we can zoom in with him. And if I switch to this and I try to zoom in, I can't zoom in with this. So I can't oh, okay. aim very well. If I switch to this character, we can zoom in a little bit more. We'll turn this to single shot. And hopefully we will be able to pick out where this guy is or which which one of these guys is. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. I'm now just messing around. Alright, this thing is getting damaged and it needs to be... Uh, what is this? Oh, this is something else. This is a new hostile group. Oh, I see. All right, well, that changes things a little bit, I suppose. All right, so we need to go... All right, he's by the water. We'll go down here. This is not great. They're in this old house. Oh, lots of open windows. They can see us for sure. They're not hyper-aggressive, but... We could have taken some incoming fire there. Alright, so we'll follow this road to the end. Oh crap! <laughs> Hell no! Go away! We're not interested in fighting you whatsoever. Oh, and we have the billboard up here. 100 meters down the road though, so it's probably too far. 
come on. Oh, we could have... Uh... There we go. Uh, I don't think we can manage to hit it from the billboard up here. So we need to be a little bit more sneaky and stealthy and see what is our best approach to take this guy out from afar. Just need to shoot the one person in the head for uh, for the other people to become friendly again, I guess. That is my hope. And we need to figure out which one of these has the red tail mask. I think that guy in the back. Although this guy is wearing full combat suit. This is probably, yeah, the guy in the mask. Why do you hear a lot of zombies? All right, so can I get closer? All right, what does he have? Looks like a grenade launcher. That is a bit scary. I'm not a big fan of that. Let's see what these zombies do as they come in. Oh, he has a katana as well. That is just not great. Oh, nice. Can we fucking go already? All right, let's see. I probably shouldn't use this weapon too much. Nice. Oh, that is so cool when you get like a, a guy with an automatic uh, assault rifle on your team providing some backup. All right, so these guys have surrendered. We're going to Drew. He'll become friendly. Ooh, cardio max level. Nice. We'll upgrade this into Marathon or Powerhouse. Well, reduce melee stamina costs, good for heavy weapons, drop kick, and power hit attacks unlocked. That is perfect. We'll do that. Wait to knock down a few zombies. Uh, X and space to throw zombies harder. Lift or left shift plus space drop kick without a happy weapon. And we can hold power hit with heavy weapon. But shift and left shift and space to drop kick. Yeah, so basically we need to run at someone and then we can just uh, knock a zombie over, which is really cool. Right, so, oh, actually we should search the Red Talon member. Why am I leaving? That Red Talon guy probably has some sweet loot. What am I doing? What am I thinking? <laughs> There we go, let's search him. Uh, he'll take care of that zombie, which is nice. So yeah, an Echo S5 gas launcher. Oh man. Uh, uh, Mamba melee weapon, we'll definitely equip this because the other one is injured. Uh, Krambit close combat weapon, we might as well equip that as well. Uh, we can uh, drop that because we don't particularly care. And two pipe bombs, that is nice. Right, and maybe we have something else here that is useful. Right. Maybe they'll find someone even louder to eat. Alright, discipline at max level, which is nice. You can't keep this up. Alright, nice. Yes? Alright. I'm getting tired. We need to report back to Derek, or Drew, I should say. I'll uh, quickly drive over and then you'll see me in just a second. Alright, they're back, it seems. So this will turn into a new uh, outpost or enclave, I should say. Let's talk to Drew. Yes, good luck putting the pieces back together. Ooh, hunting crossbow and standard bolts. They're friendly. Let's actually have a look. This guy, program. Oh, oh, that is perfect. I want that guy. Hey you. Uh, no particular skills. Hey, Can we recruit you? Yes, for suicide. Oh, this is Drew, right? Yes. Need your skills, and honestly, you'll have a better chance of survival with us. Yes. Oh, for sure. But we will not go crazy to uh, then go hostile and try to kill you. Now, where are you going? 
Uh, I cannot on this. All right, he's running back to base, I suppose. We'll do the same. And then that will be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more. And I'll see you guys for another video. I do next.